Agwan, guys, what's going on? I hope you're doing well. I cannot complain myself. Okay, you had Cardi B attend Kamala Harris rally, gives a speech, which uh, this was this took place in Wisconsin, uh, Milwaukee, right? She goes on the campaign trail in support of Kamala, right? Which I believe it was a great thing, right? Uh, she made a talking point. Uh, and, and you should watch the full speech yourself. It's 11 minutes. Go and watch it. Uh, she has a lot of good stuff in there that you can uh, you you can listen to. A lot of good stuff, right? I mean, just in one sitting, one conversation, one speech, you won't be able to cover the vast amount of you know what I'm saying. Talk, uh, talking points that are, that are even out there. You know what I'm saying? Or I mean within measure you know what i'm saying some the all the important things that you need uh to worry about uh, in you know that four year span that uh, uh of the presidency okay no way that can be covered in one debate one sitting one whatever okay a ton of issues a ton of things to be taken into consideration but i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say this uh i was proud of you know watching uh cardi b get up there and, and have that speech uh not only because her age because she's young right she's young you know and she's she's come up right it's been a lot of speculation a lot of talk about kind of the thing you know uh, her rise to stardom and basically how that uh, process took place and basically people you can even say this you know uh, dissing or <laughs> however right so it's like okay you know you, you you've rose to this level and not only you know you've gained uh a lot of fans and you've gained a nice uh base of supporters through your music and you know what you do but you've also been able to uh, endorse vice president kamala harris right you've been able to do that and you know her fan base you know is numbered in you know just to be conservative hundred thousands so she definitely has uh she has a sway of opinion that could possibly be you know into a large group of people which is why she went out there and 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 said uh basically her thoughts and opinions on this election because she even said she wasn't gonna vote but once kamala ran that changed things and now uh basically what she did was she went ahead and she kind of attacked donald trump she did do that she talked about i believe it was a high price watch shoes that he was selling my thing is everybody's gonna have merch they're trying to get off you know you can critique and you can pick and kind of choose things but everybody got some merch that you're trying to get off you know that's just one of the things that you know it, 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 that's kind of how you know this you know this business works right it's uh you know it's a demand right and you know you got to feel that demand right and so uh another thing i believe she says is that he was a bully and i don't believe just just the whole circumstances of how things took place uh you know this uh, election year you know I, I'm, I'm gonna say no right I, i'm just gonna disagree with him being a bully and funny enough i think there's a video of um uh what's my guy's name dr phil basically saying that donald trump is not a bully and I'm, i think it's safe to say that um that you know i'm, I'm in agreement with with dr phil on this and right and I, i'm gonna say this too this just the whole timing of this thing kamala has kind of felt like she's picked up steam from all the celebrity endorsements that she's received more notable more popular celebrities that we kind of see more right and basically she's been able to kind of you know corral these guys up and uh get endorsements for all of these guys even the likes of lebron james i'm wondering if he's gonna give a speech right 
He may he maybe he'll send a tweet out. Maybe we can get a tweet out of out of LeBron, right? But uh, yeah, okay, and uh. I'll go ahead and say this. My only this is this is the only thing I I I um I mean kind of disagreements with this whole race thing with with Kamala and how she basically didn't like I think she said something about her being Jamaican and Indian, but then all of a sudden it just got it was so it was it was it was inconspicuous because it was like all of a sudden it was going to her blackness and her talking about greens and all these things. But even when she was talking about her blackness it was very it was touch and go it was you know what i'm saying it was very hush hush it was like you know it, it was i think that it could have been uh relayed more clearly you know just that whole effort you feel me and even if you want to like to go look at some of those clips and stuff like that it's just i mean it's even hard to 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 it's hard to even you know what i'm saying uh dignify it with a response you see, you see what i'm saying because it was just so sloppy and it was thrown together and i believe even it's a thing because candace owens i think she covered that on her channel uh, uh, on her podcast she covered that and she was basically debunking this myth that uh kamala is, is black and it was just like when she's talking about her blackness, it's she's talking about the college she attend, HBCU. She's talking about for, a fratern, a sorority she was a part of. And it's like that those things don't make you black. And the fact that she she would pull, you know, at a group, you know what I'm saying? And not the fact that even even to do that. But that's that is very disrespectful. But then. Like. Cause everybody is passing these days. It's just what is what it is. Everybody's passing. But the, 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 the point that you do not stand up and identify as Indian, like what you are, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's, it's almost, you know what I'm saying? It's almost hurtful. I'm not saying, I mean, I'm just saying like, wouldn't that be hurtful that you don't like to, you know what I'm saying? To all, like to, to your own race, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you want to say who you are? But it's like this, it's just this big cultural thing where like, you know, black people are so accepting. So we could like, you could literally, you know, lie and and laugh it off all the time and you just be accepted and you, well, you can pass it off as a running joke. Literally, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's my only disagreement, but I, I but just in conclusion, um, still proud of cardi b you know what i'm saying going up there and making a big impact and she's not she's she, this is not her first time dealing with a presidency she's dealt with uh joe biden i believe she, he sat down and had a talk with her people were upset about that as well you know what i'm saying but hey you know it these things happen you get more people talking uh, supporting representing represent represent uh um you know things are roll uh maybe different another time but that's what i got for you guys hey look if you like this type of content subscribe to my youtube channel right now and uh hit the like button thumb up the video dude it helps the video get out to more people okay peace dude i'm out